Well, this may go I can't fiscal court to order. Uh, on this 14th day of May, 2024 at 5 p.m. And I'm gonna ask our uh, city councilman from Forsville to come to the mic and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to play. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to come before you tonight. And we ask that you guide and direct our city, our county people and help them make the right decisions and bless everybody in this courtroom and and be with our military up, abroad and, and help the leaders of this great country make some right decisions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, before you, you have the minutes of the April 26th meeting. You need a motion to approve. So moved with the motion. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Being now, I'm fair to say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. The motion carried. Uh, before you have the bills claim payments and transfers, including a late list. We'll do motion for that. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Discussion. Any discussion on the bills, claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Uh, renewal of the treasurer's bond. Uh, you need that in motion? Yes. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. <coughs> um, um, any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Um, case wondering about the treasurer's bond uh she has to be bonded to handle this uh nearly 25 million dollars we're talking about so she has to be bonded to handle that uh it doesn't mean that uh we don't get it back if she doesn't appear in court or something it looks like uh okay before you you have the uh, treasurer's financial statement for april we just need to acknowledge what God is. Oh, God. Jason Bullock made the motion to acknowledge the receipt. Second. Second by uh, Bobin. Okay. He was a little bit ahead of him. Uh, any discussion or questions for the treasurer? Thank you, man. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Post like sign, motion carried. Uh, the Clerk's Amendment, now this one we actually approved. The Clerk's Amendment to the 2024 <coughs> Motor Vehicle and Boat Claim Bills. You, you prove it subject to audit. I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve. Motion by Jason Bowen. Yeah. Here a second. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. 
Uh, is there any discussion? Any discussion? Opinion nine. All in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Next. <clears throat> Jason, do you want to introduce our next guest? Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> Glad you're here and there you come, but I'll go ahead and I guess high school where and you guys are um, blood drive, the blood drive, you were come on. Come yeah, on. Why somebody come up because I don't know my I don't know I'm my sorry, name. I thought you knew it, I didn't know. I, I knew they were here for the blood drive, they know me. Come, come on up and introduce yourself and yeah. we'll be I'm glad, glad you're here crowd. though. We haven't had a crowd like this since uh Hey guys, you're welcome to come back to me anytime. You don't have to give love to come to court meeting. Yeah, five o'clock on the second or Tuesday of every month. Okay. That's a secret. <laughs> I see you get beaver down once a year every. I know. Yeah. Vicki Ellis for the Western Kentucky Regional Blood Center out of Owensboro. I have some uh, young folks here tonight that I'd like to recognize. Please. Um, and with judge's permission, I emailed earlier a proclamation I'd like to read. Okay, please. Is that okay? You didn't even have to. If I need to sign it, you can bring it to me and I'll sign it. Okay. okay. She's got I have a copy. You have a copy? Okay. Yes. okay. Would you like to read it or you want me to? You read it. Okay. blood donors play a vital role in the healthcare system of Western Kentucky, including the County of Ohio, Kentucky. And whereas voluntarily donating one unit of blood may save as many as three lives, and whereas 15% of the blood supply <laughs> is collected from high school blood donors, and whereas the Western Kentucky Regional Blood Center ensures the safety of the blood supply and successfully recruits, collects, processes, and delivers 100% of the life-saving blood products as needed in Ohio County. And, whereas these Ohio County students have met the WKRBC high school hero requirement, now therefore I, David Johnson, Judge Executive of Ohio County, Kentucky, along with the County Commissioners, do hereby proclaim May 2024 as High School Hero Month. I recognize these 22, 22, class of 24 graduates as high school heroes. I also encourage all healthy citizens of Ohio County to follow their example by donating blood regularly. It is my pleasure to announce this is the first year that we've done this. The recipient of the 2024 Don Williams Community Service Scholarship funded jointly by Western Kentucky <laughs> Regional Blood Center and Ohio County Fiscal Court in the amount of $1,000. We presented to, drum roll, Christian Bird. I do have a copy of the essay he submitted. I'll leave that with you. I will not read it. Is Christian here? Come on up. We are. Would you all like to take a picture? Yeah, we just scoot up, move over in front of the camera. Oh, that's the camera. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And I want to say to you know, how much I appreciate what you do. Uh, and it's always good when you're someone, you're thinking of others and not yourselves. And in fact, by giving blood and bringing other people in to give blood, you've actually done that. You've demonstrated love for others rather than, you know, just thinking of yourself. And I think that's very commendable. Guys, let's give them a hand. 
don't mind, I've got a few other those Please. points here I'd like to call Please. up and recognize. Please do. If John Michael, uh, forgive me for your last name, T. John Michael, if you're here, and if you all would just line up across here. <coughs> Thank you. Emily Smith. Kendall Addington. Tessie Collier, Clothier, sorry. No. Leslie Geary. Julie Julio Gonzalez. <laughs> Haley Osman. Clayton Roberts. <laughs> Megan Kittinger. Narvi Lopez Tejeda. I did not get to judge the essays, but I will tell you right now, if I had, Christian, you would have been in trouble. This would have been my choice. Very, very well done. <laughs> Kay Rothgerber. Zambi Hoover. Georgia Beasley. Aiden Burden, Sophie Gaddis, Christian Burr again, Allie Bishop, Baxter Croon. sponsor Amanda Groves. A total of 62 units of blood were collected from 78 donors at that blood drive. So just to tell you a little bit of, about what a high school hero is, these students either donated blood four times, volunteered four hours, or a combination of the both. Um, so here we have, okay, so there were 90 across seven counties and 12 high schools, and you have 22 of them right here. So what does that tell you about Ohio County? Pretty good, right? And that's all I have. Thank you. I do appreciate all of you so much. <coughs> what you do, that's just wonderful. <coughs> You'll be there. Some of you will be up here doing this someday. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate it. You don't realize how important it is. You know, a friend just had a wreck this week, and I know you guys know Coach Glad Hill and his best friend of my son. He had a lot of blood given. You don't realize until you have the wreck how important it is. So, appreciate every one of you guys. Ma'am, do you want this signed copy? Thank you. Yeah, it's a busy time of the year, but it's worth every second. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, going on to our next item. We would uh, invite you to, to stay and see sort of how our process works here. Uh, and this is a uh, very important issue we're fixing to do right now. Uh, it's a second reading of Ordinance 2024-5. 20, <coughs> 
and it's the fiscal uh, year 2024 slash 2025 budget. Our budget runs from uh, July the 1st of one year to June the 30th of the following year. So this one will be effective July the 1st. Uh, I need a motion to approve the second reading. I'll make a motion to approve, approve the first reading, the uh, second reading of the budget. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Bo Benny. Do any of you want to discuss, have any discussion or any comments about the budget before we vote on it? Uh, this being an ordinance, it's a little different. Uh, we uh, must vote on this by roll call instead of by, uh, by the yeas and nays. So, uh, Miranda, could I have a roll call? Johnston? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. And uh, that's really good. Teamwork, we got that done. Uh, there's been many a year went by that we did not have uh, that have it passed the first time we voted on it all, and then it was <coughs> unanimous like this. It's really, really unusual. David, I don't want to talk out of turn, but I'd like to thank Ann. <coughs> a lot easier for us uh, returning than the, than the new the new uh, magistrates on the court for laying it out from the previous years. That was very helpful. I think that also helped speed up the process. Thank you. Um, the next thing on our uh, agenda is we have ordinance 2024-7, which is the first reading. I mean, we'll have to come back at the next another meeting and do it again. And there can be subtle changes between the first and the last reading of a of a ordinance. But this is an ordinance as well. <coughs> uh, and uh, it first come about with point the committee goes into committee and the committee's review, review it. Uh, then it's customary for the uh, magistrate, there'll be a magistrate employee, c uh, citizens at large, and that's uh, all on the uh, committee. And it's, it's uh, uh, our uh, way of doing it is for the magistrate that's on the committee to bring to the court. So Bo, I'm gonna ask you to uh, make a motion and comments on it. Okay, we're 24-7. Yes. Okay, I was filing through that. Today. There's two, but now we only have one, and we've narrowed it down, so just scratch one out. Okay. So we're just approving the first reading. First okay. reading, yes. So uh, we brought up a lot of ideas on how to uh, go about this, and I think <coughs> Justin uh, did a good job of putting all those inside of this ordinance uh, so i'd like to make a motion to pass the first reading of the 24-7 solar uh, farm ordinance M motion by bobin second second by jason bullock now is there a discussion if not i'll just briefly tell them what solar what this is about as you know there's a new green energy one of them is solar <coughs> well the companies that's going to generate the electricity with solar power from the sun they buy land and put up these large panels of uh, millions of them to collect the sunlight to generate electricity with so we have to we're coming up with a way that we regulate them somewhat where they can't just put them anywhere and uh, you, you know they have to have some um, you know way that they know where they can put them and where they can. Well, and they can't just up and leave them. They have, they, have to, they have to tear them down when they leave. Yeah. And this this applies so, so the record's clear. This applies to intermediate and large scale SES, so the solar uh, systems, um, and also with the decommission of those, like the judge and, and Jason had just indicated. It does not. It does not apply with respect to solar power that you may put on your roof, or an integration system within your home, or anything of that nature. It's only the large-scale uh, solar uh, systems 
there's also some protections a lot of times that you want to see with respect to the adjoining fam uh, farm owners or owners of property that abut the solar systems, uh, which would include uh, fencing and vegetation so as to block uh, that system from your property so as to not necessarily be an eyesore or a risk to others. And so this is more of a protection for those landowners that may be adjacent to them. And also, uh, we would not want a company to come in to put a, a solar farm in and then unfortunately become bankrupt or business issues cause them to that property to be and become an eyesore. So these are some of the protections that we're trying to uh, make uh, as a precaution. Um, if no further discussion, uh, Miranda, do a roll call. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Uh, motion carries in the first reading of, of that ordinance is approved. Uh, next, we have just a <laughs> resolution. It'll only be voted on one time, but it's to approve the cooperative road aid agreement with the state. Is that higher? It looks like the amount's a little bit higher than it was last year. I, I believe so. Now this isn't the flex. This is. The I understand road. that. That's what keeps us going. You know? Yeah, this is where what we live on here. Okay. So I have a motion to approve that. I make a motion to approve. A motion by Michael McKinney. Second, Michael's. Second by Jason Bullock. If we got any figures on it, 1.8 million. <coughs> 1.8 million. Yeah, it's well, in the packet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1.8, 1,831,000. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be just a little delay here because we have to get all of them to sign this. While you're signing that, you I'll, go to, been here. To, I'll go on to the personnel. You'll give me those times. Okay, the first one I have is a uh, part-time meal driver substitute meal driver <coughs> at Senior Center, Jesse Hopper at the rate of uh, $13.53 an hour, effective uh, effective day. Two days ago. They're not on. The 12th. 12th. Should be 12th. On the next one. Okay. That's all. Uh, uh, if needed, we no more than 20 minutes. Okay, the very last page, that's all that we want to do that way. Okay, that's what I'll do in the next one. Okay, that's an effective date is uh, 512. Johnson? Yes. McKay? Yes. Bullock? Yes. The next one's at the golf course. It's the pro shop attendant, uh, seasonal, Anna Kroons, uh, at 1353 per hour. And that also is effective. The 12th. So, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Markey? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Yes. Uh, the next one is also a golf course. Um, 
It, Keller Raymond, uh, level one, uh, thirteen fifty three an hour, and that is a. Uh, is it seasonal? Part two. Seasonal. 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 Keller Raymond, Brooke. Johnston. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKenny. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Yes. And one another. It's a golf course too, and it's a general laborer, John York. Uh, and uh, we had to emergency hire him. He's already there. Uh, and that was effective day on May the second. Uh, but this still have to bring it up, and make it official. It's a rate of uh, thirteen fifty three an hour. Seasonal at the golf course, and it, like I said, it predated the hard day. So, real quick. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Okay, uh, we got through that. Uh, we're now we're ready for committee reports, uh, and I know. Uh, it has been in committees, Matt. Sort of the the vehicle thing at the golf course. Thing. We can do a lot of golf course stuff. No, 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 I'm sorry. Animal shelter. We need to declare a, a vehicle. <coughs> so Michael has that. I'd like to make a motion to surplus a 2007. <coughs> That now belongs to the animal control, um, and I'd like for us to put the receipt funds back into um, an account for the animal shelter to be able to use for other equipment on the truck that uh, they're currently using, and the uh, bin number and everything's here for you, Brandon. I've got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'd like to make a motion for us to uh, surplus that vehicle. It's not been in use for some time now and we can utilize the funds elsewhere. Okay. Have a second? I'll second. Yeah. Second with Jason. Uh, any discussion? Any, any discussion on it? All in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed aye. like sign. Yeah, I know we will have to put it in. David, I didn't speak of the terms. We're going to just okay, okay. Uh, run an ad for bids, or is that something that needs to be No, go ahead. That, if that's where you want to do it, go ahead. And I think we'll just make a motion for that. Too. They usually put them on Gov, Gov deals. That, Gov that's deals. Yeah. Charlie puts those on there. Okay. So I guess we need to let Charlie know to do that. Okay. Yeah, remember, uh, couldn't believe <laughs> Already dropped the bonds. Uh, next, we have a water bill. Uh, I'm sorry, you got anything else? Well, I just I was just going to add that you you had handed me a proposal for animal shelter uh, rate changes. Uh, that's something we're going to discuss, I guess, at the next meeting. But yeah. have you made everyone else aware of these? No, I wanted really to meet on it. Okay. Okay. All right. So these are proposed for, for yeah. the committee. Yeah. Okay. Does yeah. everybody everybody agree with to this before I take this to the committee? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other committee things? I've got one. Uh, I have a bill here from the Washington Water District for where they had a water leak at the Cromwell Ballpark. And they repaired it and uh, uh, had a lot of management changes and everything like that. And their water's turned off out there at the ballpark of Cromwell. They've got a busy season coming up. And uh, this uh, water loss and, and uh, turning it off and getting it turned back on and everything, which is not turned back on, they want until the bill pay. It's uh, $1,805. <coughs> and uh, 44 cents. 
uh, want to see if any of y'all be willing to help me with discretionary money, but even if I pay it with mine, I've got to have them up. I'll make the motion to do it. Does anybody want to help the crime little ballpark? What was the amount of the bill? One thousand eight hundred five dollars and forty four cents. And the water district was did not agree to reduce it for the ballpark. And this all came from a leak and then turned it off and it's what it's gonna cost to turn it back on. I'd like to, I don't know if it needs to be made in the form of motion, I'd like to address the the water department if we're going to help take care of the bill. Um, we need to also talk to maybe someone at the at the park that's taking care of that and see if they'll rebate that amount for the court to take care of it. And then, I mean, who's who's over the park? I, I mean, I, I know there was some discussion that the county was going to maybe take that over at some point. Uh, the committee that's running didn't seem to want that. We, uh, Larry and I were uh, agreeable to bring it to the court to see about doing it, but they were not. They didn't want to. If they're not agreeable for us to take one of the responsibilities, I don't know that at this time we need to take on the responsibility of taking care of a water bill. Okay. I, that's my opinion. I believe I, another I man for the motion. I don't know if I need to make that or. As far as, uh, I believe you had the same idea. Go to, uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem going to the water board and <coughs> asking them to, you know, if we're going to help, if, if they're going to maybe uh, okay. discount it for us, but I don't. And, and or prorate it where or, the, or they're going to pay it over a period of time. Yeah, would, you, would you agree to either do it or go with me to do it, Mike? Yes, I, I'd be glad to go with you. Okay. All right, well, any other committee reports? Being none, let's go to the magistrates. Let's start on this end first. Let's start with Larry. I don't have nothing, Judge. Okay, Bo? Uh, nothing at this time. Judge? I do. Um, she would be here, but her son, Zach Leto, had a wreck, and so I told her I'd talk to you about it. Every year they have. Uh, uh, senior, they have what do they call them? Well, senior graduation. Senior. Project, project graduation. graduation. Project. They changed it now. It's called Senior Sunset. And she's wanted to know. Uh, I said maybe we could all donate two fifty a piece uh, to help with the senior. We've done it in the past before, and she came to ask. But normally, since she's in bowl with her son, I said I would go ahead and ask. And you know, I'm right. okay. I'm. It goes to the senior project graduation, or what they call it now. So, if everybody's willing to do two fifty. Will you talk to Kenneth? I will. Okay. And I'm almost positive he's going to be okay. And if he, he doesn't, just take 250 more out of my okay. But I'm sure he's going to do it. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do it. I think so she can pay the bill. What was the report now, Judge? For project graduation. I thought we didn't give them money. No, I was talking about that. They did it they annually. It's where they take all the seniors yeah, and keep them. Year. So. You want 250 each? Yes. Okay. And you went from your discretion? I do mine, yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody yes. Yes. And uh, I can't, I know it's going to be okay. Yeah. I'll I'm okay to speak for Lori. So, so I heard it on was side. 250. Do I uh, have them, uh, no, uh, Jason made the motion. Somebody second it? I'll second, second the motion. Yeah. Got the second. All in favor say aye. 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 Both aye. like time. <laughs> okay. Uh, You've got in there for me to write the check. Yeah, I'll go ahead and amend my motion for and the right to check. Is, uh, you got anything else, Judge? No, it had been in the meeting yeah, before that. I would just like to, you know, that was a bad wreck. And, you know, it's keep uh, the Addington family and the Gladio family, and not only them, the, their girlfriends, their divorce, where, you know, one lost her life. So uh, right. their foster families, just keep all of them in your prayers. And even the young man that was at fault, yes. because his life was gone with that. I mean, it's ruined for sure. Uh, even though it's his bad choice, we still have to think about it. Uh, so, uh, okay, Michael. I have no new business from the first district. Has anybody in the general audience got anything for the good body? 
We do appreciate everybody coming out, but oh, I was wondering and they all left. I don't know. What did they say? Is it okay with you guys if we change the June meeting from the 11th to the 10th? And that's so if us going to the conference don't have to go up there in the dark. Uh, I don't have a problem. Okay. Anybody got it? Well, I told him, I said, June 10th is my uh, anniversary, what so if that? he would have a candle up here and an extra chair for my wife, maybe. Yeah, I, mean, I, I told him it would be the second meeting she came down. Yeah, she yeah. comes to the meeting with me. That's a good anniversary. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I'm fine. Yeah, Monday, June 10th. Do you want to do it at 4 o'clock? Please. Who said please? That one, and I know if it's 10th anniversary, you put your meeting. Okay, over. I've got to be over that meeting at 6. Can you be here? <laughs> so, yeah, I can be here at 4. Yeah, right. That's good, 4 o'clock then. I appreciate it. That way we don't have to drive to Lexington in the dark. And I usually drive with Larry Morphew, and, I, and that's a trip in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You have to tell everything you know. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, I left, I left the part out about how many snap cakes it takes to get there. Uh, if nobody else has anything else, we're going to call this meeting adjourned. It's been a very good meeting. I thank all of you very much.